Trav, about halfway th through that run chase, how, um, how kind of confident were you? Yeah, very. I thought Stoyan come out and did what he needed to do and that meant I could just keep on strike for a bit there. So um, I felt like we, we played the ground well and um, yeah, timed their run nicely. Uh, did you kind of struggle for fluency a bit at the start there or was that kind of like part of it where you, you kind of had to anchor things after some losing some early wickets? Yeah, I think I feel like the breeze and a few different factors so and they bowled all right. So um, yeah, one of us was probably going to try to make the move and Stoyne um, had some really good matchups, played some really nice shots. So I felt like I could, yeah, just get him on strike and just work the partnership that way. And then um, when I was able to get to the other end with the breeze and feel like there was a matchup there, try to take and make the most of it. Very different kind of innings from you today, Trav. I mean, you've been finishing games at the top, from the top, but to bat through and then do that, like, how important was that for you as a T20 batter? Yeah, there's going to be times where it's going to need to be, yeah, done different ways. So, um, yeah, pleased I was able to spend some time out there, um, yeah, and get the job done and, um, yeah, put us in a position where we were able to win and have, a, have that partnership with Stoyan. So, um, yeah, it's not always going to be as fluent and not always going to be... Um, yeah, as fast as start, sometimes it might be slower and we have to do it a different way and um, yeah, I feel like I can do that and tonight I showed that. Is this that over where like, the game sort of turned, you hit the three sixes and got out as well, Like, was that like just picking the ball or was it a matchup thing or was it like just picking the moment? Yeah, I thought it was just picking the moment, I, that, the breeze was blowing a fair bit, I hadn't really got the strike at that end so um, it felt like I spent a lot of time down the other end, down, batting down this end so um, still to get away at that end a few times and get a couple of big starts in the overs. When I got up there, I felt like I just came back on strike. So I said to him when that guy, when he come on and felt like the pace was there and the breeze was blowing quite hard, I felt like that was my time to still had done a fair bit of heavy lifting. I felt like I was seeing well and spent time out there and to, to, yeah, to try and take advantage of an over to try to um, put us in the best position. Which I'm sure um, would have been a real big disappointment for Stoyne to um, not be in the team for the final last year at the World Cup Get, you know, a very hard team to make and obviously it's an incredible final to be a part of um, but you know the way he started this World Cup you know it feels like he's playing the best cricket of his career. Yeah he's, he's played really well over the last couple of months so um, it's really good to see he's obviously has a hugely important role um, through the middle there with when you look at Maxi, Stoyne and TD um, and Wadey basically um, through that middle um, there's going to be some tricky situations, and, uh, there's so much power there and um, yeah, for today, for the rate to get where it was and that's why I felt so comfortable with them guys behind me that um, as long as we give a few balls into him and um, he's been playing beautifully so um, on these wickets where it's slow and he's playing as well as he is, he's got so much power, he's going to be hugely important for us so it's nice to see him off to a really good start. Um, how did you find the Antigua wicket um, when you played there the other day? And do you expect it'll be pretty similar, you know, um, between then and now for what you might face against uh, your first Super 8 opponent? Uh, yeah, that was the last venue, wasn't it? It was a good wicket, yeah. Felt like it was a really nice wicket, come on well. Um, yeah, but like what well, we've seen, I think there's been a lot of wickets that have played differently than we've expected or um, first time, second up, um, little subtleties and variations. So just try and sum it up the best we can, but the wicket seemed pretty good last game, so... Um, go on that and, and see what we get. It's going to be a good place to play Bangladesh, I suppose. Obviously, they're very tough opponents, but um, yeah, as opposed to one like a, one of the other big turning wickets. Yeah, I've, yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much. So um, I think every wicket here may have the tendency to turn at some stage. I know some are more, um, I guess, common or I guess there's a trend on them. But I think we've seen that most of the wickets have played differently to what people expected in certain situations. And some have played a lot better. Um, he's played really well today. We knew that coming here, but he's still got to sum it up and still got to play on it. So um, let's see what we get. But um, yeah, hopefully a good wicket. Hopefully we sum it up better, uh, the conditions better than the opposition and play well. Just further to Brad's question, when you're constructing a chase, are you looking at the required run rate or are you just targeting specific bowlers? How do you do uh, oh, A bit of everything, I think. Um, yeah, you're just going through the gears and working out where you can do it. And we spoke about that a lot, about the communication and if someone feels like they've got to play on someone, we I think it naturally happened today with Stoyne. Played beautifully and I just sort of play that role with him where I just try to stay out there as long as I could, knowing that hopefully then my chance will come and um, yeah, you speak about that in the partnership. But um yeah, with so much power, I think anything's possible in those last sort of seven, eight overs and we got to a stage where it was time to sort of go and we'd step I guess kept the powder dry and we were able to accelerate through the back end. Travis, what have you made of the fact that you guys are going through a second season from this group having been undefeated, top of the group, potentially you could be playing in a second round group with 
two other group winners, depending on other results. Um, it seems pretty crazy. Yeah, I think booking flights is uh, I think easier that way. So uh, logistically, it works better. So uh, I think if you ask anyone, they wouldn't really care. You're in the Super 8s. Everyone's a strong team. Um, I don't think there's any easier group looking at both both groups. Both groups have got their, their, their challenges within them. So um, it is what it is. So it's fine. Have you played against um, Bangladesh before? I played in the World Cup last year. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't, think, don't know. I don't think I've got any runs. So um, let's hope I'm holding off for now. Yeah. What do you know about this, the current team? Uh, not a hell of a lot. Um, I think sometimes that's a good thing. Um, look at how, I guess, my last two months I've gone to a lot of unknowns, so I um, feel like I've got a good preparation in going into games and whatnot. So again, today, like um, putting names to faces and watching in the warm-ups and watching the footage and, and going in fresh and um, it's still the ball coming down and um, reacting to that as well as I can. So um, yeah, keep doing the same prep, keep doing the same thing and I'll look at that over the next four or five days. I, just, uh, I know you're coming off a season of IPL, but our 8.30 p.m. starts, like how different are they? You have literally the whole day and then the game starts and you have three more coming up. Yeah, I've got to time my naps well. I've, I've ch that's been the challenge the last couple of games with 8.30 ones. I've probably left my, my sleep a little bit later in the afternoon and uh, woke up a bit, a bit sleepy. So uh, I might might have to be before before uh, midday. My, uh, no sleeping after midday, but it has its challenges waiting and you're clock watching until sort of 7 o'clock leave. So. Uh, yeah, that's still part of it.